Tonight on scene, it's the most action-packed live event on four wheels. We're talking about the Adrenaline Charge Family Entertainment Monster Jam, and one of the drivers is in studio answering some of your questions now on scene. Good Friday evening. We finally made it. Welcome to scene. I'm Jamarcus Gaston. Megan Heidelberg is on maternity leave tonight, and Jennifer Martin will join us a little later in the show for What's Brewing. And What's Brewing in the Upstate this weekend? Monster Jam. Some serious high energy fun. Monster Jam is in town at the well and is returning tonight and tomorrow, and it will not disappoint. Cam McQueen is one of the drivers. He's the driver's, uh, driver of Northern Nightmare. He's here with us in studio tonight. Good to see you, Cam. Thanks for having me. So we, we love Monster Jam anytime it comes to the to the well. All the family goes and checks it out. For someone who's never been to one of these shows, what are they in for? Well, if you haven't been to Monster Jam, shame on you. I know that you're not you have, living right. <laughs> you're a big fan. <laughs> um, it's honestly the best family entertainment money can buy. Uh, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. Uh, where you're from, what your background is, Monster Jam will satisfy all. And it, tickets start at $15, and when you talk about family fun, you want to make sure it's affordable, so that, that's the one you want to pack the whole car up and, uh, and take them to, to the well. So the show tonight is already underway, but there are two shows happening tomorrow, 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock, and that 1 o'clock show is really cool because kids get to enjoy the pit party. The adults enjoy it too. I've been to a pit party in my, in my time. Yeah, that's right. The pit party is great. It's a chance for us to get up close and personal with the fans. We've got the trucks on display. We're right down on the floor where we compete. So you can see the jumps, you can see the monster trucks, you can ask questions, take pictures, and all that good stuff. So you it's can a good see time. the cars all crushed up, and you see what happens when Northern Nightmare that's goes right. over it, right? <laughs> yeah. Tell us about Northern Nightmare. You've been driving that truck for about seven years since that's it right. started. Yeah, we, uh, we actually created Northern Nightmare. Uh, being a Canadian myself, we wanted something for the Canadian fans to cheer for. And now it's been all over the world, and we've gained fans worldwide which is pretty cool for me um, but yeah it was started back in uh, 2011 and we brought it out and uh, the first year we wanted to kind of put that thing on the map and we went over and above we actually took home the world championship freestyle title in 2012 which was huge for us it was the first time that uh, it had gone to a Canadian team and uh, ever since we've been tearing it up all over the world yeah we're talking about too that you're a family man you have uh, two kids and I was like how cool is it for them to say yeah you know people have doctors and lawyers and bankers and all that stuff yeah my dad drives a truck called Northern Nightmare you know 10,000 pounds of muscle energy yeah that's right <laughs> it's pretty cool it's a good show and tell when my kids go to school and they tell everyone what their dad does so it's it's cool for me you know to have them look up to me and uh, show them that the conventional careers that uh, are usually pushed through the school system you know maybe you need to think outside the box a little bit and for me it was just chasing a dream and now I get to live that dream. Were you into cars and trucks and adrenaline kind of uh, sports before you started driving? Absolutely yeah it was <laughs> kind of in my blood in my genes through my dad and my brother and uh, you know I grew up racing motorcycles and ATVs and then in my teenage years um, I started gravitating more towards the monster trucks and eventually got on board with a couple teams just volunteering helping out and then uh, about uh, 12 years ago I got a chance to drive one and the rest is history. The rest is history. Once it gets in your blood you're done right? That's right. And yeah. I, I love you were talking about winning that that freestyle championship in 2012 but the other interesting part about that is you did a first for a monster truck with a, a backflip. That's right. That was back in uh, 2010, and it was the first uh, monster truck backflip in a scored competition, and it was something I had been planning in my head for a while. At that time, there was no such thing as practice in Monster Jam, so it was something literally I had to think through in my head, and then when it came to the time at the right show and I had the right obstacle, I just went for it, and it turned out great. Yeah, we were talking earlier about I wanted to know what it took before that, like doing the practice rounds to <laughs> figure out how to do a backflip. Like, how do you rehearse? The well, <laughs> you really don't. You know, that's the thing with Monster Jam. We can't afford to just go out and wreck these trucks practicing. So it's, uh, it's a lot of thinking things through, watching other trucks and drivers. You know, I do uh, watch a lot of YouTube and videos <laughs> from other events, and that's really the only way we can learn. So it's, uh, it's great. We take a lot from the other drivers, and really our practice time is when we're in these shows. Yeah, because we complain about our tires busting from a nail in it. I can only imagine how much one of those tires would cost. And yeah. of course, those, th those trucks are 10,000 pounds. Uh, how big are the tires? Uh, the tires are 66 inches tall, so uh, about as tall as us, and 44 inches wide, and they weigh about 800 pounds with the rim and tire. We don't want to break any any of those. No. So again, uh, Monster Jam is happening at the well this weekend. Tomorrow you have two opportunities to check it out, but the 1 o'clock show is when you have to have that ticket to get into the pit party down on the floor in the dirt. Up close, you can meet Cam, give him a high five as well, and then again, um, 7 o'clock 
at night at the Bon Secours Wellness Arena right here in downtown Greenville. You can also go to monsterjam.com to check it out. Cam, can they follow you on social media if they want to keep up with Northern Nightmare? Absolutely, yeah, I do uh, the Instagram and Facebook. It's Monster Cowboy and uh, always trying to post stuff from the shows. And we love it when the fans post their own pictures as well so we can kind of see what's going on. See how they experience as well. Yeah. Monster Cowboy, I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> Cam, best of luck to you. Thanks so much. And we'll see you tomorrow at the pit party and again at 7 o'clock at the, at the well here in Greenville. Again, bonsacorarena.com for more information.